Libra, hello beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, this is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirits' message out there to fellow empaths. For more clarity on your situation, pop on over to your sun, moon, and rising signs. And if you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. Along with my husband, if you have not yet, check him out. He is over at 70 Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading because we are going to be pulling a final message from your angels. Let's dive right in. We can see here that there is something that is causing a lot of distress for you. A lot of overthinking, uh, perhaps in the process of making a difficult decision. Maybe, you know, it could be anything. It could be to do with career. Should I stay? Should I go? Should I do this? Should I do that? Right? One foot in, one foot out, kind of feeling this energy of like stuckness, right? Now, the name of the game is to remember this. If what you're focusing on doesn't energetically leave you feeling joy or it feels stuck for you, you don't want to stay in that focus, right? You don't want to stay in that focus. You want to re uh, you want to divert your attention or your awareness into something that is um, more productive or your uh, expanding or growing some way, right? So the universe is coming forward and saying, maybe it might be time to do some abundance planning, write out your budget, write out what you're looking for. Maybe, you know, if, if finances is something that's been troubling you, it's important to know what you want because we get what we ask for. No matter what you think about, it comes in. The only reason why we don't is because we are stuck in familiar patterns of thought, right? Telling ourselves familiar stories. For instance, if um, attracting in abundance uh, or your career, or your purpose uh, was was perhaps maybe something that was causing challenge right now for you, then you've got to recognize, you got to ask yourself, what old stories are you telling yourself about career, purpose, and finances, right? We get what we think about. So again, if you're thinking about lack in any way, then you're going to attract in lack. So observe your thoughts. And the name of the game is to make sure that everything that you do, make sure it aligns with your truth. Okay. So your create your, your creations and your, or your life, right? Cause your life is your masterpiece. So if you're looking around your life and thinking, I don't like what I'm creating, then you've got to become aware of what you're thinking about, right? And what you're deliberately spending your time doing. And universe is saying it might be time to get your awareness more so on what you want, as opposed to what you're fearful of, what you're scared of, what you've done in the past. Now, the name of the game here is to make sure that you're learning from your past, but you're not staying stuck in your past. And we feel like with that nine of wands in reverse, there's a little bit of stuck in your past. And the universe wants you to, if you've been in the energy that you're in now, if it feels familiar for you with where you are, when was this feeling present before in your life? up until this point, when have you felt the same feeling before? Because it definitely is something you felt before. And what were the actions that took place? Was it, there's only a few like main ones, right? Was it attachment to outcome? You know, was it, uh, was it, uh, you know, fear, you know, was it needing to let go, you know, whatever it is, right? Um, you want to take a look at that and, and that's how you can evolve and that's how you can expand. But do know that where you are right now is exactly where you're supposed to be. It always is, is wherever we're meant to be, uh, or wherever we are is always where we're meant to expand from and expand through and that's the lesson for that particular time and space right so whatever your energy you're in right now it's the lesson that needs to be um, expanded and healed through and understand that there are beautiful opportunities waiting for you okay so whatever if you have like um a career or an idea of a business or an idea of a career or just something to do with um something related to do with your finances um Universe is saying here that the choices that you make, Libra, have to be for your highest good. Not making a choice because you think you're supposed to or because, you know, it's going to make you more profit or because, you know, it's going to be the least amount of work or any of that. If it comes with a stipulation, if it comes with a... a an or else or a, 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 a getting something out of it, you've, your, your, your awareness is on the wrong place or in the wrong place, okay? Your focus and your attention must be, is this the choice for my highest good? And you know it's your highest good because it 
gets you closer to the person that you've decided you wish to become. So you want to reconnect yourself with that intention. Who am I and who do I wish to become? And is this choice that's being presented to me right now for my highest good that connects me to that? You don't need to worry about finances because the universe always brings forth the financial gain when we are living an aligned life or when we are paying attention to the choices that are going to benefit us, okay? Benefit us. Again, it has to be your highest good, right? So you want to really be in the moment and you want to be paying attention to the details, paying attention to the um, inspirations you feel, the nudges you feel, the, the pulls you feel, right? Like that inner pull, right? Okay, and then if once you're pulled into that direction, you're like, okay, I know this is something that I want to be doing. There's my intention. I know this is something I'd like to expand into. Now, expansion comes when we are expanding in all areas of life, mind, body, and spirit. So we can't just like work on work and expect to get results. We have to make sure we're not neglecting our, our physical body. We have to make sure we're not um, disconnecting from our own personal growth. Personal growth is essentially like the first purpose, right? It's going to be um, a constant in your life is that when you're looking for answers and clarity, it's always about directing your awareness on where can I expand my knowledge, my data collection, right? What would inspire me to learn about right now? What am I inspired to learn about? What am I inspired to do that would better myself right now, right? That's always going to be how you receive the clarity on what universe is asking you to focus on, right? What, what universe is asking for you to see, um, because we feel like there is an opportunity here for you to grow and learn. Maybe this is taking a course. Maybe this is, you know, um, reading a book. Maybe this is just something in your awareness of, hey, this really is, is grabbing my attention. I feel really inspired to do this. However, it's being met with a lot of reserves. Well, I'm not educated. Well, I don't know enough. Well, I haven't tried this before. Well, maybe it's not. Maybe I'm, you know what I mean? So, let that go, surrender, okay? And remember, remind yourself that you're just a visitor here on planet Earth. This isn't your home and your life isn't your life forever. It's not like your only life, right? It's just very temporary to expand from. So you've got to really weed all of that out and you've got to get to the root of it and ask yourself, what am I being called to learn right now? And when we can let go of the attachment around something, the attachment of, is it going to, you know, be the, be, get, bring me the most profit? Is it going to, you know, be this is going to be that when we can detach from all of that need, that's when we can kind of get to our truth, right? And the universe is asking for you to see, or asking to see your truth here, because again, there's definitely an energy of being caught between which way to go, which direction to go. And um, there needs to be more awareness on yourself and what makes you feel the best with yourself. Again, what is the, your choice for your highest good? Again, not the highest good for your kids, for your spouse, for to get resolve with something, to make money. It is what is the intention you've set for your life and what is the choice that's going to be your highest good in that for that uh, outcome, okay? And that's that's it, right? Get yourself down to that. And then you know that you're you're expanding. A lot of times we get caught up in the fear. We get caught up in the what ifs. We get caught up in the, well, is it going to make me money? Well, is it going to be okay? Am I going to be okay? We, it's, it's too much thinking. You've got to take that leap, right? You got to trust spirit. But in order to trust spirit, you've got to trust yourself. You got to be connected to yourself. You know what I mean? You got to be connected to yourself. You got to trust in the systems that work. You got to trust yourself. You got to get out of familiar patterns and routines. You've got to simply just really be, have the awareness of, is this what I'm being called to do? Is this what I'm being called to do? And that's that. That's that. Your life's journey is your journey. It's not, it's not you and your spouses. It's not you and your families. We love them, but it's just not, right? You want to, how our relationships grow and how our, uh, we attract in our, our purposes and how we attract an ultimate abundance is by recognizing that our journey is meant to be lived from an awareness of how complete am I living? Am I fulfilling my desires? Am I honoring my spirit? Or am I making decisions from a need, a need to have my family okay, a need to make money, right? That's where things 
that's where we, we are missing the point of this human experience, right? So your angels are calling you back home. They are saying, listen, they are saying to you now, quiet your mind, beloved one, and listen to our gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of. Stay in a quiet and receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of your desire's manifestation. A quiet mind and body hears us quickly and clearly. This is our request to you, listen. And we see here that there's a lot of thinking, a lot of hesitation, a lot of back and forth. The thinking mind will not give you clarity. Listening, stillness, surrender will always bring you the clarity that you're looking for. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like, share, and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.